Hello everyone, welcome to our yin yoga for hips. My name is Eleni and I'll be guiding you today. So let us get started in our first pose, butterfly pose. It would be helpful if you do have two blocks, but if not, you can always use pillows. So we're gonna make our way onto the floor, coming all the way down gently, creating that flat back. We wanna bring the soles of the feet together and the knees wide. And here you may just end up resting your thighs on the blocks. You may not need the blocks here, but if you do feel any type of pulling or tugging sensation in the joint, you'll wanna use support. So here we're taking our first posture, butterfly. If you're comfortable, you can start to soften the gaze or close the eyes. Maybe the hands come to the belly. And we'll start to work with our flow of breath coming in and out through the nose. So just noticing where your breath lands. It may feel nice to take extended inhales and exhales. Feel free to bring that breath deep into the base of the belly. And if your hands are resting here, you might feel your belly inflate like a balloon. And on the exhale, feel that soft, deflation. So let's take this moment here in our first posture to just really get grounded, centered, rooted with our practice, perhaps an intention. Perhaps inviting a sense of gratitude here for giving yourself this time and space to arrive on your mat. And we give ourselves permission here to be present with our practice, with our bodies, sensations. So just allow the flow of breath to carry you into that more meditative state. Perhaps you visualize the breath moving in and out like a wave. Let us take about 10 more deep breaths. So moving very gently, let's go ahead and release the hands if they're on the belly. Walk the feet flat and bring the knees together here. Take nice, slow movements. We're gonna ground the feet, walk them to the outer edges of the mat. 
Start to windshield wiper the knees right to left. Go ahead and remove any props that might be in the way. So with yin, we do everything with careful, slow intention. So never forcing or pushing the body into any shape, allowing it to move naturally. Let's draw the knees into the chest here. Give yourself a little hug. Maybe you rock right to left. And releasing our feet, let's move into our next hip opening pose, figure four. Go ahead and cross your right ankle over your left thigh and draw your right knee out to the right side. So I want to show you guys a few different variations so you can just work with where you feel the most comfortable. This is your first option as you just stay here with the left foot on the earth and you just work that hip open to the right. The next option would be to slide a block underneath your left foot. And here you just give that little elevation, a little more hip opening here. So this might be nice. If you feel comfortable and ready, you can draw that left knee in towards your chest, interlace behind the thigh. Some of us might interlace behind the shin. And then we draw that left knee in towards the chest. Now for this practice, we want to make sure the back of the head is rooted. And then we have our shoulder blades connected to the earth. So in yin, we don't push, we just work with an edge. So body will start talking to you, telling you if it's too much, or maybe we can go a little bit more. And you just play with this edge and you notice how it shifts or changes as we take the longer holds. So really try to soften where you can. Each pose will give you an opportunity to scan the body from head to toe. And even in some of the postures where you do activate more muscular tension, for example, having my arms here. Um, you can still work with trying to soften and relax. So softening the shoulder blades, noticing my jaw, is there any tension or clenching here? And then our focus is on that right outer hip. So what is a nice visualization is to send your breath to these areas. You can start to work your breath into that hip and invite more expansion with the breath. So with our yin practice, we are invited to slow down. We got to slow way down so that our body can process, so that we can grow, we can expand, we can invite more flexibility by allowing the body to slow down. Yin is not a necessarily restorative practice. So you do have those edgy postures that you work with. Not all postures in Yin are going to feel super comfortable. And that's okay. It is its own source of challenge. Beautiful. Let's give about eight to 10 more breaths here. Nice, deep, slow, elongated breaths.
Beautiful. Take one more inhale and exhale. So if you have that bind with the hand, start to release the bind, releasing any props and extend that right leg up and then release the knee or release the foot and the knee. And here you can start to take those windshield wipers right to left if that feels good. Maybe we draw the knees into the chest, give ourselves a hug, give ourselves a rock, take a moment. And then let's just pause in a still posture. Bring the feet wide, let the knees draw in towards one another. Maybe the hands to the belly or by the body, palms facing up. And just feel and notice right side versus left. And we begin to switch. Let's take our left ankle over the right thigh, draw that left knee out to the left side. And once again, you start to move into the variation that feels right for you. So know that we're asymmetrical. One side's gonna be different than the other. Your options are to keep the right foot rooted, bring a block underneath the right foot, or draw your right knee into the chest and interlace behind the thigh or the shin. So relax the shoulder blades towards the earth, relax the head, relax the neck. And we just take inventory of how this side feels different than the other. So for me, my left side is just a little bit tighter than my right. Let's notice where our breath lands. So there's no specific breath that is recommended for the yin practice necessarily. But if you are breathing a little bit higher up into your chest area, you wanna work with moving that breath deeper so deeper belly breaths will help us to relax the nervous system, especially if we take a little bit of a longer exhale. So the breath that I love to use is the belly, ribs, and chest on the inhale, and then the exhale softens the chest, the ribs, the belly. Beautiful, find those eight to 10 breaths here, last full minute. And just remember throughout your practice that the body is the greatest teacher. So if you need to come out of the deepest sensation that you're feeling, listen to the body's wisdom. If you need to release your foot, right? Or take that more gentle variation. So one of the beautiful assets of doing in yoga is just taking out that push yourself mentality or more achievement based mentality. It's really about holding presence for the body 
and not just the physical body, but emotional body and what arises when we open up the places in our body that hold specific emotions and allowing that to be okay, allowing that to create a sense of normalcy that it's okay for the emotional body to be expressed. It's okay to feel what's sitting. And that's the way that we heal, is to process, feel, and release. All right, beautiful, everybody. Go ahead and release that bind if you have it. Ground that right foot. Release that left foot. Gently lower down. So little baby windshield wiper here, right to left. Keep the feet nice and wide. Take that slow, soft movement here. And let's draw the knees into the chest. We'll give ourselves a little hug here. Baby rock side to side. Go ahead and roll over onto one side of the body and we'll gently press up through our seated posture. And here we're going to work into our shoelace pose. So I do recommend blocks if you have them. And there are different variations for everyone. So working with, with what feels best. First variation, you'll have your right leg. And I'll mirror you guys. Right knee will cross the left. So this is your first that you would just stay here with that left leg extended long. Okay, if you can take the full bind, you're going to take that left heel and draw it to your outer right hip. So you want that stacking here of both knees, one on top of the other. If you feel like that right sitting bone is lifting off the floor or your torso is tilted over to the left side, you're going to want to re-extend that bottom leg. So again, we're not forcing here. We're just acknowledging where the body's at. So here is a beautiful place for blocks, right? You can stay just as you are, keeping the spine tall. You can also work into a gentle neck stretch, chin towards the chest. Or you might start to work your arms towards the earth. So this one, having blocks here will help to um, let you kind of figure out which level you want to be on and it may shift as we get lower here so i'm just going to stay just as i am right here okay this is where my hips want to be if i go any lower it's going to be too deep for me right now and again shocking to the physical body right so we're coming into this from a cold body we're not warmed up we didn't do a vinyasa practice right and that way it can get the true lengthening that really needs to happen and that is the intention of yin is to one of the intentions is to work on the length that's more sustainable by holding for longer So again, just working inward, finding your breath, finding your focus. If you don't want to use blocks today, you can keep your hands on the thighs or walk your fingertips forward. Long, slow, and deep breaths. Okay. 
One of the beautiful mantras that one of my teachers taught me, I'm breathing in, I know I'm breathing in. I'm breathing out, I know I'm breathing out. So just a very basic mantra to help calm that more left-brained, rational, analytical mind. If you feel comfortable for this last minute, you can start to walk your fingertips or your blocks to a lower level and get your torso just a little bit closer to the floor. Take that last breath here. On an inhale, start to walk the fingertips back. Take your time. So here it may feel very tender and we need to take care as we come out of our posture. So you can guide your top leg, ground the foot, release the bottom leg and let's do those windshield wipers right to left. Beautiful, extend the legs forward and we'll switch sides. So this time you're taking your left over right. Again, we stay here with the bottom leg extended or take that right heel to the outer left hip. So just remembering both sides are different. We're gonna feel and look different on either side. Grab your blocks if you'd like to use them here as props for your palms or your forearms. Some people even stack the blocks and rest their forehead. So that's a nice prop for the head. So I'm just gonna walk my fingertips forward and pause. So we have that sensation, not too much, not too little, but just right. Nice deep and slow breaths. Beautiful, let's take another full minute here. If you feel comfortable making your way to the floor a little bit closer, feel free to do that. Just remember every day is unique. Our body shows up in a different way every day. 
So we can honor that by listening to the body. Hearing its wisdom, hearing its guidance. Beautiful. Next inhale, we slowly walk the fingertips back, lengthen the spine nice and gentle. Use the hands, guide your top leg, gentle and slow. Ground that foot, hands behind the body, release the other side. Take it right to left. Beautiful, everybody. Let's make our way onto the back. And we'll take our final resting here. Go ahead and extend each heel to the corner of the mat. If that doesn't feel good for your low back, you can always ground the feet and let the knees fall in feet wide. Palms beside the body, palms facing up or palms resting on belly. So feel that wave of energy move through the body, releasing any last points of tension. We allow the breath to settle into its more natural rhythm. Feeling our body supported and connected to the points below. So whether we're resting on the floor or on the ground, we just feel that support of Mother Earth holding us. I encourage you to stay as long as you'd like. And when you're ready, go ahead and begin to wiggle the toes, wiggle the fingers, rotate the wrist, rotate the ankles, start to reach the arms up and overhead and point the toes forward. Take that nice full body stretch. Draw the knees into the chest, give yourself a gentle squeeze, and let's rock onto one side of the body and press up. We'll meet in our seated posture here with the hands together at the heart space. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I wish you all peace, love, and light. Namaste.